with another one like that i'm weak okay so that was clearly not a good intro i need somebody in the comments to help me come up with a good intro because i literally do not know what to say when i get on here like it's so weird like you can talk regular in person but then when you get on youtube and you start recording stuff it's, it just gets weird but today as you guys can see in the title i am bringing you guys a couple of tips for students who are about to get ready to go to howard university but as a mukbang mukbang whatever people call it and i have chick-fil-a I could not live without Chick-fil-A, you guys. Like, I really couldn't. It would be the death of me. It would kill me to live without Chick-fil-A. I'm sorry if I smack or if you don't like the way that I eat. I've been told that before, so. I mean, if you feel that way, you feel that way. And I don't know, hopefully another video comes out that can help you navigate Howard like mine. Wishing you nothing but success. Um, so yeah. What we have is a number one. I like pickles and butter on my bun. My pants do not. I used to work at Chick-fil-A. I, I should talk to you guys about that. It was a little crazy. I didn't, I didn't like it. I love my coworkers, but I did not like the actual job. They have you doing way too much. I kind of go. I'm sorry, y'all. This is super awkward. But yeah, all right, let's get into the video. Okay. So my first tip, I'm gonna start off with like a couple of mistakes I made or like places where it's easy for you to make mistakes. So number one, Howard has like a huge, huge like mentorship culture and like uh, like every person you meet is gonna say, I wanna be your mentor. And um, at first, I think you like it as a freshman because it's really, it's like, oh my gosh, people are, um, they're upperclassmen like me and they want to help me and all of that. But I think you have to be very careful and look um, at what people's intentions are because everyone doesn't have the best intentions. And so when someone says that they want to be your mentor, you have to really look at them and evaluate how they can mentor you, how they can guide you, how they can help you. One big thing is your mentor is there to advise you. They're not there to tell you what to do. You make your own decisions and like college is the first time you get the chance to like know and understand that and know that like your judgment is all that matters and all that counts. If you feel a certain way about a certain situation, nine times out of 10, you're right. So trust yourself before you trust someone else. But anyways, back to mentors, they should be able to help you physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and in some way guide you or encourage you and be someone that you can call on for advice. Um, when you're trying to pick one, I would say like, look at how much time you wanna like spend with them and talk to them. I'm the type of person that I like to be close to people. So like with one of my mentors, like we would talk literally almost every day with another mentor. I met up with them like once or twice a week. Like I like making sure that you're in my life, you know what's going on. Um, we have conversations, we talk about things. And for me, it was best to have one person that was there for me socially, mentally, um, and other things like that, that I could explain to them and emotionally so that I, they could really get to know me as a person and understand me. Some people, like definitely my friend, her relationship was definitely more professional. They were only calling each other when she needed like her resume checks or an email to be looked over or anything like that. But just make sure you know what you want in a mentor. Speaking about mentors, I would try and pick one that's involved in what I want to be involved in, like clubs and activities, stuff like that. Someone who um, wants to be my mentor, like I experienced that a lot too. Like I saw someone, I was like, oh my gosh, I want you to be my mentor so bad. Oh my gosh, can I ask you, will you be my mentor? Da, 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 da. And they were like, um, I'm not really taking any mentees right now. So make sure like it's definitely someone who wants to take on a mentee who's um, dedicated to being like involved in your life. But nine times out of ten, it's going to be an upperclassman. And this is where my first tip comes in because you want to be around upperclassmen. You kind of like you're going to crave it because you're a freshman. Like you want to be like, oh, I'm hanging with the big kids. You already know what I'm talking about. Like I'm turned up. But you have to know with an upperclassman like when to not overstay your welcome. I feel like for me, like my one mentor was always hanging around like a lot of upperclassmen and different people and like of course i would be there because i'm the mentee but it was just like awkward because some of them i definitely didn't feel comfortable or welcomed around so i would say make sure you're not overstaying your welcome and make sure when you're with an upperclassman you are you know 
I guess giving your best, you know, making sure that you leave them with a positive connotation of you because that's really big at Howard. And that's the next thing I want to hit on um, is making sure that you have a good name and that you're hanging around people who have a good name um, because image is important and you want to make sure that when you're going out, just like you want to make sure you look good um, with the way you're dressed. You want to make sure that you're, you have a, a positive kind of positive connotation around your name and make sure that people know you for something good and not for something bad because a lot travels at Howard and it travels quickly I mean you do one thing and you'll be that person that's known for that so I will really make sure that freshman year I'm focusing on or that you're focusing on making sure you have a good reputation. Um, so that means the people that you surround yourself with, make sure that they have good reputations, make sure that they're interested in the same things that you are, make sure that they're um, keeping up with their schoolwork, you know, doing good in their classes. Cause that's another thing, you never know who's in your class. Like, of course, once you get deeper into your major, you're gonna be able to be like, oh okay I know her that's Sarah I've seen her a couple of times she's in my grade whatever whatever but you never know if the president of this is in your class or if you know you're in class with somebody who's going to be in politics or in your career field or who's going to be able to help you and then they all they know about you is that you were always late you never showed up you sat in the back that's not a good look you want to make sure that you have you know you know a good reputation so yeah um, that also brings me to another thing about friends and, you know, people you hang out with or that you have hung out with that might not have a good reputation that you might want to distance yourself from. Um, my thing is always I see things for myself and that's always who I have been. But, you know, some people don't and some people like to tell other people you know who to hang out with or who to be around or why they don't like this person or the other stuff but I would say never speak negatively about someone because you don't know who you're talking to about them and it's just not a good look to you know say negative things about other people um I've always believed that people should experience um who they want to experience and if they want to build a friendship or relationship with someone that's their decision and that has nothing to do with me um if I want to keep my distance I can keep my distance but I don't have to you know make other people do the same thing because again in college people can advise you but they aren't telling you what to do they aren't your parents okay so make sure you know that i gotta pause and look at my notes all right y'all i'm back so another thing is people at howard i feel like they can be very sneaky and very ingenuine about the people that they're making connections with or building relationships with because they want to be in a certain organization or a certain club or other things like that um, or just, you know, say I know this person, we're cool, we're this or that, with very fake intentions. And I find that that is pointless because, number one, sometimes it comes off extremely ingenuine and fake and it's just wrong because why would you want to use someone to get somewhere? You should get there off your own accolades and your own hard work. But also, um, it, it's obvious and people don't really like that. Um, and you wouldn't like if that was done to you. So just work to meet who you meet, click with who you click with. Um, and one of my mentors told me like, it's going to happen genuinely. The people you're supposed to know, the people you're supposed to network with, you're going to, you're going to meet them and you're going to, um, end up you know loving them having great relationships with them probably being friends well past college and it's nothing that you really need to force there's no reason to force anything and that's a huge thing at Howard is everything that is meant for you will be for you and there's nothing you can do on your path to mess it up there's nothing you can do to speed it up either so I was talking to my dad the other day and he literally was like singing don't rush from the don't rush challenge he was like don't rush in my face don't rush because he was like you know there's no reason to rush your college experience and your matriculation like whatever is happening um is happening to you because that's what's supposed to happen at that point in time another thing um being around picking who you hang out with is like huge because some of the mistakes i would say that i made this year is like in going out we went to one large party during homecoming and i got separated from my friends i had asked one of them to hold my phone because um I didn't have a bag and they had a purse. Um, so, oh, that's another story. Okay, before I forget, so I went to that club with a bag, right? With my stuff in it, like a book bag. Just thinking it was going to be normal. Okay, clubs, no, they don't let you in with any type of large bags, larger, larger than maybe a purse this size. So don't try and bring any large bags. So I had to leave it outside of the club, put it behind some fence and hope that nobody grabbed it, which luckily they did not. And it was designer. So thank you God for looking out for me. But yes, whoever you go to the club with, what I was going to say was do not leave without them. If you came with three people, you're leaving with three people. And it's those same three people. Make sure you look out for your friends. Make sure no one is taking advantage of you guys. Make sure you're aware where dc is a city i'm from charlotte north carolina so it's not really um 
as big as dc but just being in dc like you can clearly see okay this is real like i need to pay attention i need to be aware of my surroundings i need to be locking my stuff up even on campus there are people that might not have the best intentions you may need to make sure in your dorm room you have your stuff secured you know what you have i think that's really important too like stuff might go missing and you know if you're not keeping track of your things you don't really know that it's going missing but make sure you know everything that you came with like my mom when we moved into the dorm room she made me take pictures of things Things, like the serial numbers on the back of my TV my printer everything so if it was found somewhere like no one could say it was theirs like I literally have like documentation that it's mine and it's been in my room since August 29th or whatever day we moved in make sure you're doing those things um also don't walk by yourself at night like a lot of times I stayed in annex which is on one side of campus I have friends in towers so I will always like go to towers and like I was friends with mostly freshmen too so I never really had anyone to walk me to towers now if you don't know where towers is there's a McDonald's off Georgia Ave and towers is right behind there and those are kind of like the upperclassmen dorm dorms um the athletes are staying there next year so it, and it's just a little bit away from campus and mcdonald's is where some sketchy people can hang out so you want to make sure you're not going up there by yourself at night like there are quiet areas areas that don't have a lot of people areas that aren't well lit you don't want to find yourself there by yourself because even in broad daylight like y'all i was at practice at track practice literally okay he's bumping his music you sound real country too no but I was literally at practice and um I went to the bathroom at McDonald's because we were practicing at Banneker if you don't know what Banneker is it's the track across from McDonald's there's a lot of parties there um Drew Stroll Quad Stroll all of them came out there uh this past year before coronavirus so it's a really a jumping spot you need to make sure you know where Banneker is that's probably where the Rep Your City block uh block party is going to be for freshman week so make sure you know where Banneker is it's right across from McDonald's anyways we were practicing at Banneker I went to go to the bathroom at McDonald's Use the restroom. I just got my hair done red because I thought we were getting ready, you know, to have spring at my HBCU. Super fun, but we didn't. Walked across the street. Two boys were standing at the entrance, and they they said something like, um, "You want to give me a hug or something like that?" And I was like, "No." Now, for people who don't know me, I am extremely small. I'm only four foot eleven. Um, and so I, uh, someone's sketch was watching, walking by, but, um, I was just looking at them like, no. And like, I'm very, I can be very feisty, very forward, but for some reason, like, I just got so scared. And like, when you're in those situations, you don't know what you do. So I told them no. And I was like walking back to practice and they started following me. They were like, why don't you want to be nice to me? Or they said, why are you being mean? Or, you know, what are you doing? Or something, something, something girl i was grabbing my necklace i was looking around i said oh god please help me because i don't know what i'm gonna do that was broad daylight like maybe 12 one o'clock it could have even been 11 o'clock i don't know because afterwards i still had class and i was completely scared because i didn't know what i was going to do and clearly they looked like they were from dc i was like okay well all i can do is go crazy if one of them touched me but i don't know so it, it's different. Make sure you know where you are, know who's following you, know if you're being followed. Watch your surroundings like very carefully. That's extremely important. Gotta check the notes. All right, y'all. The next couple of tips are gonna be um, housekeeping tips. I haven't bitten my sandwich at all. I put Polynesian on there. I don't know if you guys can like see it. I feel weird eating in front of you guys. I don't like it. Okay, anyways, so for your dorm room, oh lord, alright, oh, I'm sorry, I'm taking a minute, <laughs> alright, for your dorm room, clean up, okay, clean up, now I know you're doing schoolwork, I know you're socializing with friends, people in your home, like you're just in the swing of things, but make sure you have a schedule to clean up. People have a schedule for everything else, but cleaning up is extremely important. You do not know who was in that room before you, and I've seen a lot of nasty things in a lot of dorms, especially Annex, because that's where I stayed last year. It was disgusting, but like, I made sure to stay clean. I made sure to wipe stuff down with Lysol wipes, everything else. That is important. It's disgusting. One of my roommates kept getting sick. I was the main cleaner in the room, so, you know, I, I didn't really get sick as much. But, you know, if you're keeping things clean, you won't be sick. You won't be exposed to, you know, germs. Just make sure your stuff is clean, especially coming back from coronavirus. 
um i was about to say something but i'm not but also yeah make sure you do that um they might tell you to do roommate agreements make sure on that roommate agreement where you are real write down what you believe if you don't want anybody touching your stuff say i don't want anybody touching my stuff you don't want to like try and be too nice on there and then look at it and be mad that you know your roommate is doing what you said they could do on the roommate agreement um in addition to that set alarms for things like i'm not really a scheduler like i don't write things down like a list of what i need to do or like put it on a calendar or anything like that or type it up in my phone sometimes i type notes in my phone but not a lot i set alarms so like if i know i need to be somewhere at 2 30 i'll probably set an alarm for two o'clock start getting ready for this because the alarm is going to sound and it's going to like make you like look at it like there's no other option you have to look at it to stop the alarm and so it reminds me like what i need to be doing when i need to be doing it and where i need to be doing it and it's something that can be done super quick on like a smartphone or iphone i'm sure even on a flip phone i'm sorry that's so funny y'all when i used to get in trouble my mom used to take my iphone away and give me a flip phone and i was too embarrassed to use that thing that's another time another story for another day but yeah all right and now this is the most important tips or tip or whatever we're gonna call it that I'm about to give you okay it is about the DC Metro okay that's how you are probably gonna get from place to place from point A to point B your parents might pay for a couple ubers your first couple of months but when the charges start adding up like you're gonna need to start taking the Metro there's nothing to be worried about they're extremely safe okay first tip it closes at midnight at, at 12 p.m the metro stops running so wherever you are know that plan to be where you need to be for the night at 12 p.m metro is done all right you want to take different metros to get different places um when you go down to the shaw howard metro that's the one that's closest to our school um it's by you're going to pass cvs pharmacy walking down georgia ave and it's going to be on the left side of the street across from cvs pharmacy it's the Shaw Howard Metro. That's our stop. There's a bunch of stops that um, you might get off at on accident, and you probably will make a couple mistakes, but know that we get off at Shaw Howard Metro and we walk down Georgia Ave to get back to whatever dorm you're in and stuff like that. Um, Metro. When you go grocery shopping, nine times out of ten, most people grocery shop at Target, which is in Columbia Heights. Um, when you're taking the Metro, you're going to get off at, Col at Longfont Plaza, I believe. I'm sorry, y'all. This might be messing me up, but make sure you look it up. Either Longfont Plaza or Columbia Heights. When you go grocery shopping, know that you're going to have to walk and take the Metro back unless you plan to Uber back, but that's a lot of money like we just said, so why not plan ahead and know that when you go to the grocery store, you can only get a couple of things so that you're not having to walk back with tons and tons of stuff. You don't want to do that, okay? You do not want to have to do that. So make sure you're planning, like, you know what you have, you know what you need when you go grocery shopping. Nine times out of ten, you're going to go with friends. It's going to be a fun trip for the first couple of times. I'm still looking back on it. Okay, guys, I want to insert a video that me and my friends did at our first uh, Target grocery shopping. Um, if you want, there's a Whole Foods in the area, and I believe the bus takes you there. It's kind of close to Georgetown that's another thing the bus is free but i read somewhere that the um metro is going to be changing and that bus route isn't going to go anymore but there's the 70 route and the g2 route um buses will take you a lot of places for free um yeah last thing make sure you're visiting the um sorry <laughs> I look crazy. Make sure you're visiting the national monuments, the museums. It's free. You're nine times out of ten gonna have an assignment to go there, but they're super fun to go to, super fun to look at, something to do when you and your friends do not need to spend any more money. Keep track of your keep track of your money, okay guys? Well, that's the first mistake I made. My mom said you're playing with me and you're about to not have any money per month. Um so I had to really get my life together. You don't need to spend twenty dollars on a party. Like budget for real. Every party that having you do not need to go to, for real. Freshman week, take advantage of them free parties, okay? Free parties, free events, free food. Um, another thing I was going to say, find some clubs to join freshman week. Find some people to talk to that are interested in something other than partying. Because I'm telling you, when I came home for what, Christmas break, or maybe when it was around spring break time, I was tired of partying. I haven't seen it before. I done been there and I done done that. Okay, another tip. Bliss nightclub is the ghetto. Ultra bar is another ghetto. You're going to ghetto clubs because you're going to clubs that are for people under 21. Enjoy, but know that some stuff could pop off there. Be careful, be safe. Nine times out of ten, someone 
that is an old old man might show up and might try to let you dance on him which is super weird so I always make sure you're turning around when you're dancing oh yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really appreciate you for watching thank you so much like and subscribe I want you to like and subscribe today because I'm gonna give you guys some more tips normally I say I don't care but today I care all right bye